Well, Ernest Holmes said, whoever you are, be proud. You are a divine idea in the mind of God. So it is in that spirit that I would like to open the service today with this pride prayer poem that I wrote. <clears throat> I say a prayer this morning for those who do not feel pride in their own personhood. I say a word of love and acceptance to those who can neither love nor accept themselves exactly as they are in this moment. I speak a word of truth to the lies that they have been told about their very name and nature, the lies that have, they have believed as the truth, the lies that have become identity, the lies that have bound and imprisoned them in any idea of themselves that was not their own. I speak this word so that it may possibly ring out more loudly and more clearly. And that the echo of this word, and, and the echo of the words truth, love, and compassion may drown out those past words. And so that this echo may drown out the very words that left wounds and doubt in place of health and joy. I speak loudly and surely of wholeness and perfection over any idea of brokenness or self-disdain. I speak loudly and purely of love over any idea of lovelessness. I speak because there are those who cannot or will not or have not spoken for themselves. I create because there are some who believe themselves uncreative. I live because there are those who chose to end their living. And I keep going because there are those who could not. And I hold on for those who have let go. I say a prayer this morning for those who do not feel pride in their personhood. For those who are lost in the comparison minefield then who believe a picture or an idea of themselves that could not and should not inform who they know themselves to be. I say a prayer this morning that we may all know love. And the love that transcends classes and communities and cliques within those communities. The love that transcends neighborhoods and labels and sound bites and tweets and texts and status updates and ideas of race or gender or identity, of muscle or fat ratio, of numbers or pounds, of age or youth, of saggy or pert or smoothness or wrinkles. May we all know the love that encourages and emboldens and infuses. The love from which we were all birthed, in which we all live, and to which we will all return. I say a prayer this morning that we may all know ourselves as love itself, represented and individualized as the very unique expression that we all are, as is, right now in this moment. I say a prayer. I say a prayer this morning for those who want to live out loud but remain silent. I say a prayer this morning for those who wish to love but are holding back and for those who desire freedom but will not or cannot or have not been able to let the shackles down themselves. I say a prayer this morning so that someone knows they were prayed for. So that someone knows that someone else considered them. And so that someone knows that someone else holds them in the highest and most holy idea of authentic self and freedom to live in the fullness and completeness of their own unique beingness and expression. I know this for you if you cannot know it for yourself. May we all live a pride-full life, a life that is full of pride in the full and gracious acceptance of all that we are. May we bless one another with our living and with our words, whether spoken or whispered or texted or typed or held back. May they all be a blessing. May all our words be a blessing. And may we speak a word of love and kindness and upliftment for one another today. 
And may our actions follow the path laid before us by our words. And may the words we hear in return reflect the ultimate truth that lay beyond the vocabulary. That we are all loved simply and purely because we exist. That we are all loved simply and purely because we exist. Let us have more love than pride. Let us all be proud in our personhood, proud in our living, and proud in our loving. I say a prayer this morning so that someone knows they were prayed for. And together we say, Amen, Ashe, and so it is.